Have you seen Lilla Rose Flexi Clips and wondered uh, how exactly are they supposed to stay in my hair? There's nothing there to hold it and there's just these little tiny notches and that's not going to hold it together. That's not really going to stay there. Or perhaps you've even tried one and put it in your hair and it's slipped right out. Let me talk about sizing Flexi Clips and why the sizing is, is important and how to get the right size so it doesn't slip out of your hair. Now, I am no hair guru, so I am not even going to try to show you this in my hair because that would be working in the back of my head and not being able to see what I'm doing. So we're just gonna use this scarf. It's a silk scarf, it's pretty slippery, so I think it's a good approximation of hair. And what I'm going to do is put in this extra 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 small flexi clip it's the smallest flexi clip that's sold and the way you put in a flexi clip is generally to put the bar underneath and then put the pin over the top and then clip the little hook there see on the bar so it's clipped in there right and this is the experience some people have had then they put it in a ponytail like this, and as the day goes on, it slips right out. Now this is actually fairly tight. I'm having to pull a little bit to get it to slip out, but over the course of the day, it would slip on out, whee, all the way out. And you might even lose the flexi clip that you spent your money on, and you would be really frustrated, right? Really, really frustrated. So that's because you wouldn't have enough hair in it. And in actuality, in hair, you don't need much hair in this flexi clip to have it hold, all right? But a scarf compresses pretty much. So I'm just gonna double over this scarf and I'm going to put the flexi clip in the same way. Put the bar underneath. Put the flexi clip over, uh, the pretty part over and clip it like that. And again, the clips. And because there's so much in here, it's being held because there's so much in here pushing. And now this doesn't budge. It doesn't budge at all. And this would stay there all day. It wouldn't fall out. So that's what makes the flexi clip hold, the pressure of all that hair in there. It makes it hold it nice and tight. The pressure is nice and tight in there and it will hold all day. So when you're sizing a flexi clip, you want to make sure that you use the smallest possible size that will fit around the amount of hair that you're choosing. Usually we start by talking about ponytail sizes and I do have a link down below with a blog post that tells you how to size your flexi clip for a ponytail and then for doing updos as well. Usually you start with a ponytail size and then you move up one size. So the next size up, this is an extra, extra small. The next size up to do an updo would be the extra small. So it's just a little bit bigger. But if you want more details about that sizing, you would go to that blog post down below. But let's say we're going to do an updo with this scarf. Let's double it over a whole bunch of times now like you were doing a French twist. You would have a lot more hair in here, right? Here's a lot more hair. In fact, I think I've doubled it over so much I might have to use two sizes up. Put the bar underneath. Put the thing on the pretty part over on top and just clip it. And then that's stuck in there. It's not going anywhere. Just the pressure of all that hair in there holds the flexi clip in. The fact that there aren't any little grippies or anything in there like little springs or anything is what makes a flexi clip not damage your hair. All those little things that usually catch your hair in normal barrettes aren't here in the flexi clip. So when it comes time to take it out at the end of the day, your hair doesn't come with it. So if you've tried a flexi clip and you've had trouble with it falling out, you need to try a smaller size. If you've gotten it recently, that Lilla Rose does have a free return and exchange for size program. 
you can send it in and they'll send it back for free free postage a smaller size or a larger size for you whatever you need they know that it can be uh, a tricky the first time you buy a flexi clip to get the right size so it's a great company to work with um, and also i'd be happy to assist you well with sizing your flexi clip for your hair you can reach out to me at my website and again first check out that sizing page and let me know if you have any questions as well i hope this helps i just want you to have fun having beautiful hair